Hello, everybody. This is Oscar Maldonado. And I'm Helen Maldonado. And we're the co-owners of NIA Professionals right here in beautiful Katy, Texas, along with our Fulcher Group and our Memorial Group. And we're here today with one of our awesome members, Mr. Roy Cavazos. Good afternoon, Roy. How are you? Well, good afternoon. It's a great day to be going today. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Roy, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody and tell everybody uh, the name of your company and what you do? Sure. My name is Roy Cavazos. I'm a certified financial planner. My primary firm is Mass Mutual Greater Houston. Uh, although I am a consultant and uh, uh, working with individuals, business owners, and professionals in the areas of business, estate planning, financial planning, tax planning, and then, of course, my uh, core competency, uh, life insurance planning. Awesome. Great. And we have, a, we have a few questions for you today. I want to know, how has your company responded to the coronavirus? That's a great question, Helen, and I appreciate that. You know, uh, it, largely, I, I think, like our company, many companies are somewhat reinventing themselves and looking at not only how they're doing business, but the impact that it has. So technology has been uh, uh, tremendously helpful in how we communicate the value proposition of helping people make smart choices about their money, which I think my job is to help to do that, help them bridge the gap from where they are now to where they're trying to go. So to answer your question, Helen, you know, we're taking advantage of all uh, online and digital content to the extent of um, uh, social media and tactful uh, 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 messages, posts, uh, whatnot, targeted email. Uh, we've set up a series of Zoom calls, meetings with our clients and prospective clients. And ideally now is a great time to take stock of where you are with your overall planning. You know, what's the long-term view? Because this COVID-19 thing, it will, will come to pass, uh, but I think it's changed the way a lot of people think. And Absolutely. so now that we're trying to take advantage of the newfound time by meeting people working at home and look at where they are with their overall financial plan. Sure. Right. So more of an educational approach to your clients, mm -hmm. sounds like to me. Yeah. So, okay. Education, review. Um, right. I, I beg your pardon. Yeah. To educate, review, uh, analyze what you're doing and seeing if there are any improvements that need to be made, any gaps in your planning, you know, th Great. things like that. So, okay, so as an expert in your field, what tips could you share with our audience? Well, it's a great question. Let me see if I can compartmentalize that. From an overall view, you know, we're all working, trying to do things to accumulate wealth, to accomplish whatever financial objectives we have. If you're an individual, you know, a non-business owner, you know, what a great time to look at how are you spending money? How are you saving money? What are efficiencies you can have in that? And how are you in relation to meeting your objectives? It's a good time to take a look at that. As a business owner professional, what are things in my business I can do to streamline my operation? Maybe expand my footprint, my digital footprint, which is what I've decided to do, you know, over the last several months in being more accessible, more available. Mm -hmm. easier to talk to via conference call, Zoom, Skype, et cetera. Uh, even for the business owner is to take a look at what am I doing now? What are steps I can take to help further my efforts as we transition away from this COVID-19 situation that'll uh, have economies of scale for everything. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, That's really awesome. Good. So, and you may have touched on this a little bit, but what opportunities have you been able to identify that will alter the way in which you do business post pandemic? Well, that's a great question. Uh, one, as I mentioned, that I've expanded my digital footprint. So I've got a very talented marketing director in our firm. And so I've, I've uh, created a Facebook business professional page and we'll be doing posts from there. And also using my LinkedIn profile to create posts there so I can kind of expand uh, my reach uh, in the marketplace, uh, along with using those uh, 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 social media sites to further promote marketing uh, opportunities, including through NIA, which has been one portal to access to inf great information uh, and, and, and meetings and camaraderie, uh, great suggestions about working from home, also looking beyond ourselves. So 
the big change is I think uh, many businesses like mine will use um, uh, the internet much more tactically uh, to expand their reach. Absolutely. I think so too. I know, I know we have, we dove right in and you know, the founder of NIA just went all out trying to feed every single member across the country with information to help their businesses continue, not only to stay open, but to be able to thrive through this. So tell me, Roy, um, this is going to be going out all over the place. So how do people reach you? Well, um, you can easily find me on LinkedIn uh, and I am on Facebook, both personal and business. Um, but LinkedIn is probably the easiest, but uh, I have a website uh, that's easily found. Uh, I'm one of the advisors listed with Mass Mutual Greater Houston. Uh, I also, you know, have a cell phone, 832-423-7890. I think I've had that for 20, 25 years. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not that hard to find. Uh, Excellent. I'm also listed among the certified financial planner practitioners with the uh, College for Financial Planning. That's another way that people can reach me. So se several options. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Roy, and have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thanks so much, Roy. I've, thank you. I, I've enjoyed my association with NIA. It's been fantastic. Hope everyone <laughs> has a great year, and thanks for the time. Thank, thank you. you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.